Exactly. Now back to back weeks, we didn't we didn't have Deontay Wilder popping back up. Uh, you know, as you guys know, last week he uh, fished, he made an official uh, removing Mark Breland, who's actually a friend of the show, uh, from the from the team. This week he is calling out Tyson Fury. Uh, he believes that Tyson Fury is trying to dodge the trilogy fight um, between them. Tyson Fury uh, says he's scheduled to fight on December 5th. He hasn't announced his opponent yet for the 5th of December. However, clearly it's not Deontay Wilder, or we would not be talking about this right now. Um, I mean, I really hope that Deontay can bounce back from the last fight. Uh, you know, whether or not the timing is is, is December or, or whatnot, I, I can't say. Um, because especially now, because... I mean, the training staff is is a little, you know, out of whack right now with Mark Breland stepping away. So, and I think that, you know, once he's actually ready to get back in the ring, it's going to be a whole new uh, regime. I know JD's is still there. Shout out to JD's. Um, but I'm pretty sure they're going to bring someone else in to replace Mark Breland. So that's going to take a little while. So maybe, you know, and unless we're talking about, you know, him fighting Anthony Joshua, that would be one thing. But if he's just fighting a little, little filler fighting in between maybe it might be for the best for you to fight a filler in between just to get used to working with whoever's going to be the new member of your training team and then come back after that fight and get the trilogy fight um but i get it you know Deontay Wilder is a warrior he's anxious he he wants that belt back he worked extremely hard to get that belt in the first place so many title defenses. He was the first American champion I think like 20 years um you know and we, when we had him on the show and we spoke to him uh, you know, he 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 told he told me that that winning that championship was was fulfilling a promise to his daughter. Um, and, and if anybody that knows Deontay Wilder, you should you would know how important his daughter is, how important his family is in general to him. Um, so I know he really wants to get that that uh, WBC uh, heavyweight title back, as uh, as as he says in the interview, and. Um, you know, but again, right now the ball's in Tyson Fury's court, so to speak. He does have the rematch clause, um, you know, so it's going to happen regardless, but we still got to wait and see. Yeah, it's it's still going to happen, and I think this is more about politics than anything. Um, I, I don't think that Tyson Fury's ducking him. I think this was more a combination of quarantine, kilt, what would have been the rematch, because I think they were supposed to fight back in March or April, if it had not mm-hmm. have been for the, you know, the pandemic and then trying to figure out a way to get the fight now and maximize on the profit for it. Because again, this is a trilogy and this is probably going to be the last time that you guys fight each other there. They're, most times you don't get a fourth match. And so if they yeah. do this pay-per-view without fans in the stands, it's less money. And I think that's where Tyson Fury's camp is looking at it from. They're looking at it from the standpoint of we want to make as much money off this fight as possible. So if if it means just us waiting a few more months so that we know we can have fans in the stands and, and, you know, get 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 every dollar from it, let's do that. Um, But I I get Tyson Fury's point of view. I mean, I I get uh, Deontay's point of view, too, because if you're Deontay, the last thing you want, bro, is that Tyson Fury loses in December. That's the last thing you want, because then you don't get an opportunity to get your belts and it, it. it kills any anticipation for a third fight. You know, if he comes off a loss, um, I also know that Deontay, and we know this, Deontay has been wanting Anthony Joshua for years. And the Mm -hmm. fact that he's seeing Tyson Fury already start to negotiate this fight with Anthony Joshua has got to be killing him because it's like, I've been trying to make the fight with the dude and the dude don't want to fight me. And now I'm waiting to fight Tyson Fury and you guys already talking about you guys fighting now. You know what I'm saying? So there's, there's different things going on in this situation um i think they're going to make the fight i would not be surprised if we see them fight in the early part of 2021 maybe february or march um tyson fury will probably take a tune-up fight and as you said deontay should do the same knock off some of the ring rust because he hasn't fought in quite some time Mm -hmm. knock off some of the ring rust and then start promoting for the early part of next year yeah listen man i I agree a thousand percent and again you know deontay wilder is you know Still, you know, one of my favorite fighters, you know what I'm saying? He showed us a lot of love when we went down to Alabama to uh, to, to interview him. So we're always going to, you know, support him. And, and, I, and I want him to get that belt back. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
first of all, again, first American uh, heavyweight champion in, in, in years and in decades. You know, you guys know the, the, the Klitschko brothers held that thing down for a long time and they ran the sport of boxing for a very long time. So it was good to see that, you know, play. and then on top of that, you know, Deontay Wilder's a brother too. So, you know, I, I got to support the brothers, man. So I really hope that he can, um, can, can get that, get that thing settled with Tyson Fury and, um, and, and they can get that, get that fight going. Cause I think, I, you know, either way, win, lose a draw, it's going to be an amazing fight. We don't get to see, uh, heavyweight fights like we used to in the 90s where you talk about the top guys because literally while the Klitschko brothers was on their run the only big fight that would have been able to happen would have been them versus each other and they were never going to fight each other so we never actually got to see the top guys in uh, boxing fight each other for a long time so in the fact that now you have Wilder you have Fury, you have Anthony Joshua these are fights that we want to see. And we've already seen uh, Wilder and Fury go at it twice, but the thing ain't over, the trilogy ain't over. And then after that, whichever one of them does win, then we got to see that super fight with Anthony Joshua. And that is going to be, you know, I, that's going to be a huge fight. Well, as you mentioned, the, the Klitschko brothers ruined the heavyweight division um, in the yeah. way that they handle their business, not in their skill, but in the way they handle their business. And so, and, and FYI, I've been critical of this guy on the show as well. Anthony Joshua, you're cut from the same cloth as the Klitschko's. So let's not pretend that you're, you're anything different than what they were. But Wilder and Fury, they resurrected the heavyweight division. Deontay Wilder for what he was doing here stateside, knocking everybody out, putting on a show every time he got in the ring. Tyson Fury battling his addiction and then dismantling Klitschko over in, in Europe. And then both those guys having the you know what to say, we're gonna fight now. You've been the best guy, I've been the best guy, now we are gonna fight. And they gave us an absolute classic the first time. And they fought again, and they gave us a really good fight the second time. Yes, it was more one-sided, but it was still a good fight. Those guys single-handedly have resurrected the heavyweight division. We deserve to see them fight again. We will see, see them fight again. I just think the, the biggest travesty in all of this is that it's probably going to be the last time we see them fight. And then ultimately, a guy like Anthony Joshua, again, is going to get to dictate when he wants to fight, where he wants to fight. And that is what's killing the heavyweight division. Because when yeah. we talk about all these other divisions, all these other divisions have been able to thrive because the fighters want to fight. Right. Nobody, nobody had to make Triple G and Canelo fight. <laughs> they yes. wanted to fight. <laughs> nobody has to make all these welterweights and lightweights fight. These guys want to fight. And for whatever reason, we have a guy like Anthony Joshua who's trying to be selective about when he wants to fight. That's what's killing yeah. the sport, man. You know, with the with the smaller weight class, with you know, welterweight, uh, junior welterweight, lightweight, there's a lot more top caliber fighters. So even if you know, we had to wait a little while for Mayweather Pacquiao, but there's a lot of other good fighters that are fighting each other in between that. So, you know what I'm saying? Whereas in the heavyweight division, it's Joshua, Fury, Wilder, and then there's a huge drop from that level of talent, that level of notoriety to the rest of those guys in, 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 in the division. You know, I mean, I guess after those three, you get that drop, and I should probably say Pavekin, um, and uh, maybe Ortiz, you know, but again, these top three guys, I mean, we're talking about one loss for Wilder, one loss for Joshua, you know what I mean? So there's a huge drop. Then maybe after that, you might have Big Baby Miller, who I, we don't even know if he's going to even be able to get back into a ring. Yeah, and I've heard Andy Ruiz's name thrown out as a possible uh, Wilder um, opponent. You know, so we, we got to see that you're right. It's, I hope he don't come well, back. well, no, no. I mean, remember, he, he took the loss um, to Joshua. He's in a mix. He's, he's an entertaining fighter. I don't think he's of that caliber. I'm not saying he's up but there. But it'll be a good fight. Fury. Right. But he's a respectable enough fighter where you say, you know what? He, 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 he was able to catch lightning in a bottle one time against Joshua. Could he do it again? Um, yeah. But but you're, you're right in what you said, too, that in the other weight classes, the talent is so deep that even as we wait for the mega fight, we still get great fights in between. Like, yep. we we want to see Spence versus Crawford. But you know what? 
we're still happy that we got Danny Garcia versus Spence. We're still happy that we, you know, that we're getting Sean Porter against Spence. We're happy about those type of fights. Um, as we waited for Mayweather Pacquiao, we got Mayweather Canelo. We got Mayweather Maidana. You know, we got mm-hmm. Pacquiao against Marquez. So we got it, we got some really good fights, even as we waited for the mega fight. And it's it's just disheartening that in a heavyweight division, we know the fight we're waiting for. Yeah, we know exactly. the fight we're waiting for. And there's one in particular guy who wants no parts of that fight. And and for the people, don't let him fool you. He wants no parts of that fight. He probably was the happiest when Tyson Fury beat Deontay Wilder because he knew that let him off the hook. He knew that let him off the hook. Had had Wilder been able to win that second fight. And at that point, if Wilder wins the second fight, we may not even talk about a trilogy because Wilder was winning the first fight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, that's the, oh, yeah. Well, we, well I shouldn't say he was winning. He, 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 was, he was moments away from winning the first fight. Yeah. And, and if he wins no the second fight. Yeah. Right. There, there probably isn't a trilogy. So with that being said, the guys, he's got to step up to the plate now. Anthony Joshua has got to cut the nonsense out and step up to the plate. You want to be the champion. You want to be regarded and respected as the champion. You got to stop ducking, guys. You've been ducking Deontay Wilder for about three years now. Stop ducking. Fight Deontay Wilder. Why are you so Why are you so easily motivated to make a fight with Tyson Fury, but not as easily motivated to make a fight with Deontay Wilder? Stop the nonsense, bro. Listen, I mean, this is, this is what the heavyweight division has come to. Hopefully we can get on and get past this because these are going to be great fights however you slice it this is deontay the bronze bummer wilder heavyweight champion of the world and you're watching real fans real talk Live from the can. Hey. On, Bye, can. uh-huh this is Hi, real yeah. fans real talk, talk. real fans real talk we as real as you thought real